And, and the, of course, the, the letter does request a, uh, a second extension of, of the two years that were available in the current economic development agreement, and then an amendment to that economic development agreement to uh, reduce the uh, commitment or the requirement for the number of jobs from 40 to 30. We certainly think that that uh, is justified in the, in the very difficult economic climate conditions that we've had over the past couple of years and certainly acknowledging the fact that in that very challenging economic time uh, we've had steady continued growth by Stephen and so now we're up to about 23 employees there. I think it's also significant to note and I know that you all saw this uh, this article in the Valdosta Daily Times uh, recently uh, Steda has uh, now moved their entire manufacturing operation here to Valdosta. That move uh, represents about a million five investment in the community. Actually, specifically, it's a million four hundred eighty thousand nine hundred fifty dollars in uh, in some very unique manufacturing equipment. And I think it's important to understand that some of this manufacturing equipment provides a great resource here. That too of the current projects that we're chasing are very interested in. So that is certainly a great benefit. Um, so that's just a, a general summary. Um, and uh, I'd like to offer an opportunity for uh, Mr. Dario Orlando, the president of STEDA, to uh, address the board. If, if yeah, that, like that's permissible. Uh, and in addition to that, Mr. Wickens, his capital investment increased significantly. That's exactly right, about $1,480,000. That's correct. Mr. Orlando? Uh, 